Good morning, Steve Fried with the morning grain comments. Markets are a little bit lower with beans down about a penny at 1238, corn unchanged at 463, and the uh, wheat market, Chicago, July is down eight cents at 489. The um, stock market is higher while the dollar is lower and crude is also a little bit lower. Soybean nearby futures remain in a $12 to $12.50 trading range. Uh, we're looking at a little bit better weather in Brazil. Up to this point, the flooding in southern Brazil has reduced their crush, but now they may be able to kick that back in. We did see uh, Argentina um, talk about their harvest um, and uh, potential for just a little bit lower crop, but we would assume that pretty soon Argentina will kick their crush in, and, and the soybean meal futures are at a pretty significant turning point over the last uh, five to six years. Half of those years, meal uh, continued to rally on increased domestic demand and protein demand in China. But half of those years, we saw a decline in prices, especially if the U.S. second half of the year crush continues to be at a record high pace. Uh, we're also watching pretty closely the U.S. soybean plantings with uh, some rains across the Midwest slowing plantings. Um, and we'll see if that has an impact on the final production. We do have some people raising about 25 million bushels in the old crop and carry out in the U.S. because of lower export demand and putting yet next year's carry out as high as 500 million bushels if the weather is normal. That would be bearish at these price levels. Um, in the corn market, uh, we continue to be in this 450, 475 trading range in the nearby. Uh, we're supported uh, underneath the market by potential lower crops in Ukraine and possibly lower South American crops and continued Mexico buying of U.S. corn. On the uh, resistance on the upside is the fact that uh, the crop is going into the ground. <clears throat> the uh, weather so far uh, is normal, and uh, we would look for a normal eastern corn belt summer. But our weather guy is still looking for a drier than normal western corn belt summer. So we need like a 180 yield or prices could go higher. Right now you're looking at, some people looking at next year's corn carry out around 2.3 billion, but that could change pretty quickly if the yield comes down and exports go up. <clears throat> so I still think we, uh, corn market July could test that, uh, get that, that area around the 477 area. In the wheat market, a very, very sloppy, choppy trade. Uh, you know, when you look at the basis levels, they're weak. Commercials are looking for uh, a normal seasonal harvest pressure to fresh prices lower. Um, and so is the end-user end consumer hoping for lower prices than $7 or maybe even $7.75, which is a technical objective of nearby Chicago wheat. Um, the funds have flipped from a short to a long in Chicago KC, and they're long Motif wheat futures. So the spec is looking for higher trade, even though it's the wrong time of the year for a rally. So um, choppy trade going into the long uh, holiday weekend. CBOT will be closed Sunday night and Monday. Uh, we will put out a weather flash on Monday uh, to give you an update of what's going on in Russia, what's going on in the U.S.